Hey, Bruce Naylor here. How you doing? I'm the Boomer Consumer. I think this will be a fun video. Who said that planar magnetic, these audiophile headphones, have to be this kind of a dull, boring thing? When they don't. <laughs> they absolutely don't. Introducing the new Edifier Stack Spirit S5, which is a nice improvement over the S3. And we're going to talk about these headphones in this video. Hey, what do you get with these? All right, so you're getting a planar magnetic headphones. They support Bluetooth 5.4, Snapdragon sound. You get 80 hours of battery life on this. Lots of nice accessories and a beautifully well-made, fairly lightweight and very comfortable set of wireless Bluetooth headphones. It also can work wired as well. Use it for movies, use it for music, use it for online meetings. This thing is just so versatile. What you can do with it, take calls, Zoom meetings, and guess what? You're listening using planar magnetic headphones, which are just so rich in detail. If you've not heard planars, well, you're kind of missing a treat. Yeah, dynamic driver headphones sound great and awesome. But I think planar magnetics just take things to a little bit different level. Oh, and the price, $4.99. And I've got a link in the description down below if you're interested in more information about the S5s. Let's talk about the unboxing of the S5s. Now, I, for one, typically don't uh, record the unboxing of headphones. Stuff, but this thing was phenomenal. It's so premium. It's wow. <laughs> Even the box itself that it comes in is kind of a work of art. So when I opened that box up, I was uh, I, I saw a very nice hard shell travel case that's branded with the Edifier logo, the Stax logo. And there was also an accessory box. There was a quick start guide. There was a small little pick for changing the ear pads on it, which it comes with two different types of ear pads. A nice kind of a cooling ear pad, and then there's a lambskin uh, ear pad as well. Uh, I went with the, the kind of the cooling pads on here because, well, I don't know, I, I get hot ear. I don't know what you call it, but I, I tend to wear headphones for a long, long period of time when I'm reviewing them. So I just... Yeah, I just kind of like these a little bit more than the lambskin, although there's certainly nothing wrong with that lambskin. Oh, you get a USB charging cable uh, in the uh, accessory box. There's a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cable, uh, the little pick for, you know, changing the ear pads on here. And, of course, you get the S5s themselves, which I got to tell you, just they felt so good in the hand, so smooth, so well made. So, yeah, that's what came in the box. <laughs> okay, let's let's talk about build quality and comfort for a minute. Yeah, there's there's quite a bit of hard plastic on here, but I think it looks so elegant, right? You can see the... Let me hold this up here. See if I'll go into focus. There we go. Yeah. Got the nice little Spirit um, or Stax logo on here. You get the nice choice between two different types of ear pads. These are the cooling ear pads. You can see how nice and thick they are. And then there's a, a lambskin as well. Nice metal frame on here. Adjust. Super easy. I like that sound. Huh? Huh? <laughs> you get nice built-in microphones, dual microphones on here. Of course, the planar magnetic drivers. And I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about those, but a link for more information is described. Uh, in the or in the description down below very flexible and of course they can fold right up for travel which is exactly what you want now these don't have active noise cancellation on them. that's kind of the let's just get that out of the way and if that's something you uh, is necessary for you uh, you want to look elsewhere probably not the best set of cans you can get for actual traveling but for Everything else, I think they're going to be absolutely outstanding, okay? And I'm sure in a, probably another generation or two, A and C will be included in these. But for now, uh, the only noise cancellation is when you have, uh, it's when you're making a voice call, when you're using the built-in mics, there's some noise cancellation from uh, for that. But other than that, no, nah, you don't get that. 
You also need to download the Connects app. Now there's uh, Edifier Connect ending with the letter T, and then there's Connects ending with the letter X. These uses the X. I think the S3s actually require the T <laughs> version of the application. So you want to install the app and then connect these via Bluetooth to your phone, your device. By the way, connect up to two different devices, depending on how you set that up in the Connects app. But to get started, connect it to your phone, your tablet, whatever. Then you can open up the Connects app and it will connect to the phones. And that's where you can start kind of adjusting all the settings to your liking. Now these are just generally improved over the S3s. The, there's more nuance to music, more detail, more, more musical for the lack of a better term. Not that the S3s were bad at all, but these just take it to a, even a better, they're just redesigned the drivers. They've just done so much. They've added more modes. Now modes are kind of sound signatures. There's an original mode. There's a dynamic mode. There's a game mode. There's a monitor mode. Right? And I've been listening to these mostly with dynamic mode, which is uh, great for more like rock music and, and, and jazz and that kind of thing. Original is very good, too. I listen to it in original mode. When you put it in a monitor mode, that's when things sound a little bit more flat, which monitors, you know, that's kind of what you want when you're working with sound. You kind of want that. The game mode is a little bit lower latency using Bluetooth. Um, so I didn't use it for really any gaming, but music, movies, uh, some Zoom meetings I did. And uh, for that, it, it really worked very, very well. Now, as far as the controls are concerned, it's your typical kind of three button layout on here. You have your uh, volume up, volume down, uh, play, pause. Uh, if you're listening to music, answer, uh, end a call if you're using it in voice mode. Uh, so you have that. You have a, a Bluetooth button on here, but it also acts as a multi-function button. So there's different things. You know, you can like tap once to, you know, use your voice assistant. Double tap twice to do something else. Uh, use it to change modes. I think initially if you one tap, one short press is where you change the modes and then the long press is where you change some other functions. That's all available for configuration in the Connects app. And one more thing, that uh, little Bluetooth or multi-function button will also put it in the game mode. There you have it. That's kind of the controls on here. Other than that, you've got a USB charging port and the mics on the, uh, the ear cups. And so it's fairly simple controls, not too hard to master. It's not overly fiddly, which I like. For, it was, when you uh, unbox it and set up for the very first time, it's immediately in Bluetooth pairing mode. Now, as far as frequency response, 10 hertz to 40 kilohertz, you get the 80 hour battery life. I wrote down some of these specs. The Qualcomm QCC5181. Look, you get the Snapdragon sound, and this covers, I think, every possible conceivable uh, Bluetooth uh, codec, whether it's SBC, uh, you get LHDC, which is the low latency, high definition codec, which is just coming out in certain phones. So I couldn't use that. LDAC, of course, the Aptex, Aptex Lossless, Aptex HD, Aptex Adaptive, uh, Aptex period, AAC and ASBC. So you have pretty much all the codecs built into this thing. There's, you can customize the sound signature through the Connects app. There is an equalizer in there function, so you can have your own custom sound mode if that's what you want. One last thing, it can support connecting to two different devices. So what are my initial impressions on, on these after spending a few weeks with them? Well, first off, I love, and I told you, so I love the packaging with these. Um, I love the premium travel case that comes with it and the included accessories. I think the build quality is, is really very, very good. Yeah, it's a nice heavy-duty plastic, but it's the construction overall, these are solid. This is going to last you a real long time. I think you get great battery life. Look, I let this thing run for 70-plus hours just playing streaming music, and uh, the battery was still very much alive when I came back, so... 
wow, this thing will hold up for hour after hour after hour. I think you can get like four or five hours with just a quick 10 minute charge. But yeah, um, yeah, I think once you charge them up, it's gonna be real easy to uh, just keep going and going and going with these. I like the fact that they're foldable, but most important, you know, look, when it comes to headphones, if I don't care how great they sound, if they're not comfortable, you're not gonna use them. Comfort's a big, big deal to me. And these are super comfortable. Like I said, these come with two different pairs of ear pads to begin with. Uh, pick your, choose your poison on those. They give you a little pick. Very simple to swap them in and out. They're not super heavy. They rest well on the head. They're nice and adjustable. No point that I feel any tightness on the ears, anything like that. Uh, as I said, my ears get kind of warm after wearing uh, uh, headphones after a few hours. These were no exception. My ears did get warm, but not as bad because of the cooling ear pads. Can't stress enough, try those. Even if you want to use the lambskin, at least give these a whirl. You know, I did some Zoom meetings with these. Calls were nice and clear. No problem. People were hearing my voice. Very simple to use. Just a little touch of a button, answer a call. Um, you know, the system picked it up right away. I couldn't be more pleased. These, they just sound good on there. These are great sounding microphones built in. Whether you use it for that purpose or not, well, that's up to you, but at least the option's there. And ultimately the sound quality, right? Comfort, then sound quality. You know, build comfort sound quality. And the sound quality is really, really, really fantastic with these. You know, I think headphones in general have just gotten so much better over the last 10 years or so. But these just, to have kind of a more outstanding sound, more natural, more lifelike, more detail, um, especially over the S3 model headphones. 400 headphone amplifier. Yeah, I thought I'd use a uh, quick overview of the Connects app. And we'll start, this is the first screen that you see when you first connect. Let's go up here to this little gear icon. There we go. And this is your access to your user manual. You'll hear your control settings. You can see whether, if you want to do one press, you can change your sound modes to original dynamic monitor or custom, or the game mode, your voice assistant, switch ear pads. If you double press, well, you get the idea, voice assistant. You have your audio codecs that you can use, sampling rates, whatever, LDAC for L uh, LHDC, all there. You have your multi-point connection, in case you want to connect to two different uh, devices. Your prompt volume, your power off, your various Bluetooth settings, just disconnect and repair your Bluetooth. Okay, you have your ear pad set up. Oh, it also tells you your battery strength. And I have the cooling mesh. You can change that to the leather pads back and forth. And then your sound effects. So you have original, dynamic, monitor, and customized. Again, original uh, is apparently the sound, default sound, maybe the Stax S3. I'm not real sure about that. But I really like the dynamic uh, setting on here. The monitor is more flat and useful. If, like, if you're editing audio, that kind of thing, that's what the monitor would be for. And then you're customized. You can tap on here and you can get to a graphic equalizer. There you have it. And you have your Q factor, your gain, etc. Your frequencies on here. And then um, you would save that, a profile on that. And then, of course, you have your game mode. Essentially, those are pretty much the settings that you get with the app. Oh, and I also used a uh, vintage Pioneer SX3700 receiver. I got to tell you, I think that... <laughs> <laughs> the headphone amp on that thing is just amazing sounding. It holds its own very well, even against the HE400. So kind of a big surprise. Let's talk about music just for a minute. What, what music did I use to audition with? Well, how about uh, we start with Fleetwood Mac's Greatest Hits. I have that on a CD and Landslide with Stevie Nicks. What a great test of imaging and soundstage and mid-range and wow literally the soundstage was large it was centered imaging was on point there is absolutely nothing uh, to complain about at all how it handled those things as far as mid-range 
I thought maybe just a tad on the warm side, but not as to where anything was fatiguing. And I thought, well, let's try a few other tracks on the album and see how things go. Um, no, I still felt, when I say warm, what I mean is not exactly forward, just maybe just a little bit bright, but nothing terrible. Uh, and I think it's going to be a sound signature. Well, it's definitely one you can change with the Connects app. You can go into the equalizer and just change, and you're going to get exactly what you want. There's the other modes, the original, the dynamic, uh, custom. So whatever you want to do there. So cool piece of music to use for testing with headphones, particularly headphones, I think, is from the album The Goat Rodeo Sessions. I know, right? But it's with Yo-Yo Ma and Stuart Duncan and particularly the track Quarter Chicken Dark. Strings, strings, and more strings. It's just amazing. The violins was so lifelike with these cans. Um, the, the bass that they play in the beginning just... You just feel it through your bones on this. It sound is so good. Absolutely no complaints with that. The strings were very much alive. The violin sounded absolutely amazing. So I loved it. And I think these did an outstanding job with that. Billy Watson's Folk Singer 2. Uh, take this hammer. <laughs> I know it's a little bit different. Probably not a lot of people can figure, consider it, you know, like an audiophile track. But you gotta, you gotta try listening to that album and Quarter Chicken Dark. The harmonies, the vocals were so smooth, so clear, so crisp, so detailed, and the mids did not feel overly warm. Highs never did feel bright. Mids never felt forward, you know, like it's in your face. You know, none of none of that. Um, it performed very, very well. Bass response. I put on, uh, well, this, I have a whole list of uh, tracks I used to review. Now, I will tell you, for as good as Bluetooth has gotten, you still can't beat wired mode. And I got to tell you, um, I felt in wired mode and using the auxiliary cable, which, by the way, you can have these powered up to use auxiliary mode, if you can believe that or not. That's kind of a down downside as well. But I powered them up. Plug them directly into my SX3700 using the HE400 as an R2R -R DAC uh, off of a uh, Mac Studio. And uh, yeah, uh, there's definitely, you could tell, you could tell the difference, at least I can, between the Bluetooth LDAC that I was getting and using uh, the Mac with the HE400 and using the built in DAC with that. It just sounded even more detailed, even better. So that is a great option uh, if you want to use this wired, if you really want to get the very best experience. And that and that's included, right? You get the auxiliary cable, you get the adapter, the 3.5 uh, millimeter to the 6.35 millimeter adapter. Okay, to wrap up, I got to say, uh, if you're into gaming, and this is going to probably be the best sounding gaming headphones you can probably buy in the market today. Uh, but for movies, for music, for calls, and means these are a great audiophile quality set of everyday drivers that you can use and have absolute confidence that you know things are going to sound really, really well. You're going to get tremendous battery life. Yes, I know there's competition out there from Bose and Sennheiser that have the ANC, but check to see. Hey, are they? Uh, are they? The planar magnetic, do they have the same sound quality, the same? No, I think you're going to find that Edifier really knocked it out of the park. You know, they bought stacks with like in 2012, and they've kept investing in it and research, and they're making some very premium. And these, and make no bones about it, these are premium headphones. They're well-made, they're comfortable, they're portable. What more could you possibly ask for? And that is it. That is my review of the stacks. Well, of the Edifier Stax Spirit S5 over-ear wireless Bluetooth headphones. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.